Don't you feel that almost all the conversations going on around you are doom and gloom? It's nuts right now. The gas prices are too high. The car prices are too high if you can even find a car. Real estate prices have gone up. Inflation is part of the conversation. Recession is part of the conversation. The violent crime that's going on around the country is part of the conversation. Politicians are at each other's throats all the time. And the interest rates have gone up. The stock market is up and down and going crazy. The Fed changed their interest rates, which impacted the bond market. And so we saw a hike in the mortgage interest rates at the beginning of the week. And so people are really concerned. And as a realtor and as realtors, my wife and I get a common question that most realtors probably get. And that is, what is the market doing? What's going to happen? Are we going to have a bubble? Are we going to have a correction? And of course, it's going to start to correct. But there are many experts, economists and professionals in the real estate industry, National Association of Realtors data, in the news data. There's all kinds of facts and figures out there that talk about the market. And there is some consensus uh, among a lot of those leaders that we are going to have some deceleration instead of depreciation. And what that means is that we are going to continue to see home price increases, but it's just not gonna happen as fast. And so I am actually very optimistic about the real estate market on the whole. There's always going to be people who need to sell their home and there's always going to be people who need to buy a home. And yes, the interest rates have slowed the buyer activity, but it's also made it a little easier on the buyers who are still looking to purchase because they are not having to compete with as many people. They're not having to offer as much over asking price. And so even though the interest rates have gone up, the prices that they would have had to bid have gone down. So that helps. Plus at some point the market will change again. And if you get into a mortgage situation at a little higher interest rate, you can always refinance down the road when those interest rates go down. And don't forget, we still have a supply and demand issue. And in the Denver market, the supply is very low and demand is still high and the supply and demand aren't keeping up with each other. So as long as we have low supply and high demand, the basic economics of that is that prices are going to continue to be high and stay high. And so I think that uh, there's great opportunities out there. The market is the market and whatever the market is, the market is and we all have to adjust to it. And we might have to make some different decisions along the way as to where we buy or how much we buy or how much we might sell our home for, what that list price it needs to be. We might be on the market a little bit longer in some situations, but we will adjust and everything will come together just fine. So I hope that helps just for some perspective. Was thinking about that today and wanted to share that.